Thank you. That takes us now to Annie Rose Ram Ramos. She is in Smithsburg, Washington County, where that car is. Annie Rose. Well, Denise, if you look behind me, my photographer Tristan is going to zoom in. This is what we can see so far, that a Ford gray car vehicle is now underneath a tarp around all of this police presence here in Smithsburg off Ringgold Pike. Now, we arrived here about an hour ago. That is when there were dozens of state troopers. There were dozens of um, uh, folks here on the scene, law enforcement on the scene, trying to get closer to this car that you can see underneath the tarp. We understand that Robert Ficosa and Tia Bynum were last seen in a gray Ford Edge that they stole from Cockeysville. That is what we understand is the vehicle underneath this tarp here in Smithsburg. We cannot see whether or not it's a Ford Edge, but we do see the Ford emblem on this car. And it has been, Denise, relatively Back calm seen the since the past 30 minutes ago. We saw that the K-9 units did arrive here with the dogs. They are now around here in the scene. We've seen them, heard them barking behind me. but. As far as in the last 30 minutes, it's been a relatively calm scene. You heard Mike Helgren there say that we do understand from authorities that uh, Vicosa is deceased, but we haven't seen much else here. We haven't seen no ambulances, uh, no fire trucks. So far, we understand that they're just sort of state police troopers and those K-9 units that we can see from our eyes being right here behind the, um, the caution tapes on this road. Denise? All right, thank you. Thank you, Annie Rose. So we know that Vicosa is, has been shot and is dead. The last we know about these two children is that they were alive last night when that carjacking took place in Cockeysville. Yes, most definitely. Let's go now to Jessica Albert. She spoke to the man who Vicosa carjacked. Of course, that vehicle matching the description of the one that is right now in uh, uh, Smithsburg. Uh, Jessica. Denise and Vic, I did talk to that alleged carjacking victim earlier today. He is doing okay tonight and he is under police protection. He wasn't able to talk to me long, but I was able to get from him or ask him what led up to this carjacking that happened yesterday. Police say this all happened yesterday afternoon in Cockeysville. They say Robert Vacosa and Tia Bynum had a gun with them and forced the victim to drive them to several places in the Baltimore area. The victim tells me Vicosa's daughters were. And he cut off right there because police did tell him to stop speaking with me at that point. Now, we are not identifying the victim right now because he is under police protection. But as soon as we can, we will do so. Reporting live here in Cockeysville, Jessica Albert for WJZ. Okay, Jessica, recapping what we know right now, Robert Vicosa is dead. The vehicle that he was seen driving has been found in uh, Smithsburg, we of course have uh, multiple teams covering this story right this very moment. And we have been told that he is, is dead again, but that only one person, as far as we know now, was shot, which gives us hope that these children are still alive. They were seen last night by this carjacking victim, so, and we do know that there are canine units yes. at the location where Annie Rosie is uh, doing a search of that area, so mm -hmm. we hold out hope that those children are okay. Yes.